He could be a convicted felon as soon as he gets out of office. Joe could be a convicted felon with all of the things that he's done. The only person on this stage is a convicted felon is the man I'm looking at right now. The topic of presidential immunity came up only briefly during Thursday night's debate, likely because the issue is still in the hands of the Supreme Court. The justices traditionally like to get out of town by July, but they'll be back on Monday as they work to finalize their ruling on this question. Whether and if so, to what extent does a former president enjoy presidential immunity from criminal prosecution for conduct alleged to involve official acts during his tenure in office? A question that stems from the Capitol riot on January 6th and whether Donald Trump conspired to overturn the 2020 election. The court wants to be anything but viewed as political. Friday, the high court did issue a ruling that could have major implications for Donald Trump's election interference case. In a 6-3 to three decision, the court majority narrowed the scope of an obstruction law federal prosecutors used to charge hundreds of January 6 defendants, essentially making it harder to convict them. Trump was not part of this appeal to the high court, but also faces an obstruction charge. For Trump, what a day. I mean, his <laughs> nominees put the court over the top in delivering the coup de grace on, on Chevron, and then they just knocked out hundreds of these uh, convictions for January 6th. The court says Monday will be its last day in session this term, so that's when we'll expect to get their blockbuster ruling on presidential immunity. From the Supreme Court, Rebecca Castor, Fox News.